All right, we got Scott Summers here on his Herald of Perfection build. He'll be running this in Omaha Regionals next month. Yeah. It's All right, let's get started. Um, okay, so should be getting the third Christia sometime next week, hopefully. Yep, that one's a proxy right Yeah, there. so this one's a proxy. The other two are real. Christia is really good because, uh, for the most part, if you know the deck, it's just advanced ritual art. Send four fairies and get Christia out faster. First turn, it's a potential like lockdown if you have Herald, Decree, and Christia with some negation. It's really good. Plus, it adds the fairy back. And then when it's sent from the field to the grave, it goes back to the top of the deck instead. So there's a potential of just reusing it over and over again. There's always that slight potential, so it's really good. Uh, then the core of the deck, really, is three Herald of Perfection. Um, only can be ritual summoned through, like, Advanced Ritual Art or Dawn of the Herald. And discard a fairy, special or and negate a spell, trap, or monster effect. And destroy, negate and destroy that card. And it activates multiple times per chain. So that's really good so they can't affect failure it, unless, of course, you have, like, another... Uh, if, unless you don't have another negation in the hand. Um... Eric, can you pronounce that for me, please? Can you contend me, Um, yeah. It's a level 6 fairy monster, so it's it'll be pretty good, because I run two Dawn of the Heralds, and plus it's another potential out with the Herald, uh, with Advanced Ritual Art, if I have it in hand, and then I have too many, like, Happy Lovers or Key Mace. It's good defense, too. Yeah, it's a 2,000 defender with 1,800 attack. So, it's overall, it's a pretty funny card to be running, because kind of people just give me the, what the hell, look. Um, and then we have the Searchers, three Manju, two Senju, and then two Sonic Bird. The Manju picks up uh, either Herald or Advanced Ritual Art. I normally go for the Advanced Ritual Art just because there's only one of, and I can probably and I have more ways to search for the Herald than none. Um, Senju searches out for my Herald, and then Sonic Bird searches out for my uh, Advanced Ritual Art. So I have about five ways to get each so far. Just with these six monsters, seven monsters alone. And then two Honest, very reusable with the Christia, and then uh, also just negation of potential. It's a pretty good, pretty pro. Plus, most of the monsters are light, they're all fairies, so. And then your normals. Three Happy Lover, three Key Mace, which I'll be getting rare soon. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Forty-eight dollars worth. They better be good condition. <laughs> um, send two Happy Lovers, two Key Mace to the grave with Advanced Ritual Art, mm -hmm. and then you get uh, Herald out, and then you get the Christia out potentially as well. And then I play one Freya too, just because there's the potential Gotham's move. But then Freya just sets them out because it increases attack and defense of all fairy monsters by 400, and it can't be attacked if there's another fairy out. So it kind of stops your opponent for the longest time. Plus, it's a fairy, so it's pitchable if I don't really need it at the point. So really good. Um, next up are the spells. One advanced ritual art. Um, select one ritual monster in my hand, and then special summon it by sending normal monsters from the deck to the grave. And get the Herald out, get Christia out as soon as possible. That's pretty much the core of the deck. If you can't get it out within the first couple turns, you you can still win, but it's a lot harder to late game. But hopefully they use up most of their resources trying to stop you. Next up, I play three Dark Factory of Mass Production. Uh, by adding, It adds two normal monsters to my hand. So if I have this along with the first turn play of Advanced Ritual Art and Christia, I can have three negations at least because Krisha adds the one fairy back to my hand. And uh, three, just so this way I can keep negating. Overall, it's really good. One Dark Hole. Uh, the first time I like kind of built the deck up, I wasn't sure to put it in. And I get why most people probably wouldn't run it, just on the fact that you don't want to get rid of your Herald. But overall, if you want a big play, that's what you got to do is you got to Dark Hole their field, and they've just used up all their resources, and they just kind of sit there and go... Uh, next up, I play two Dawn of the Heralds. I play this because of the... Eric. Mm -hmm. Ba ba Megami. Can you get 10 to Megami? Yeah. Stop uh, pronouncing. <laughs> Shut up. That fairy level 6. Um, because when... Then it's just a one-of. Because I can't... I've used, like, that 
the level six fairy and then herald as well. So I, when I ritual summon to another herald, I just simply remove Dawn of the Herald with its ability. Mm -hmm. So then I get a fairy back. So pretty much I just just activated a spell card to get a monster out for free, and then I have a negation. So that's really good. And plus you run just the two is always nice. It can be dead sometimes, but that's about that's mostly it'll ever be. Uh, staple giant true nade, clear their back row and then go big, or this way you get the big monster that you need out faster. One monster reborn, staple, uh, three pot of avarice to recycle all your stuff back, and with all the stalling you'll be doing anyways, it's really good if the game goes too long, because then you get uh, three cards back into the deck, which lasts you three more turns longer than your opponent potentially. And then two preparation of rights. It adds the herald back, so that's another two cards. And then if they happen to negate the uh, advanced ritual art early, I can add that back after I've added herald, and then I go for a play. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. And then I run, of course, three row decree. So I set up the lockdown with herald, Christia, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they just sit there, and I only have to worry about their spells and traps. So that's the build. Um, it's still kind of in the testing phase, but I think it's relatively close to what it should be. Mm -hmm. So, peace out, YouTube. Alright, uh, this will be what he's running at Omaha Regionals. Um, Side deck still needs to be done. That's yep. about it. We're going to end the video with him trying to pronounce Giyukutemi Migami. Giyukutemi Migami.